what, what, what a social status. Wow, you're sitting in that chair. They're serving you. Oh, you're buying whatever you want from the shelves. Wow. When you die, wallahi, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questions our soul, None of this is going to matter. In fact, all of these things are going to be what causes us to go more and further astray. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, guys. We're here right now. Don't worry, where? The title is true. I am stuck quarantining in Heathrow Airport, making this live. I'm going to take you around. But something more important happening than Heathrow Airport, and that is the fact that there is less than three months to Ramadan. MashaAllah. Three months of Ramadan, that means we have less than three months to prepare for Ramadan. Don't just get caught up in being in Ramadan, prepare for Ramadan. That's what we're doing right now by using the Asma al Hasna, which is the 99 names of Allah. I believe we're on like name number eight or something of that nature. Today's name is going to pertain to what we're talking about, uh, about this airport, this dunya, and everything else. But the name that we're going to be talking about today, inshallah, is going to be called Al Haq. Al Haq. The one who has the truth, the one who is the epitome of truth. Allah is the ultimate truth. That is all that matters. He is Al-Haq. That is the name that we're going to be talking about today. But I wanted to show you the real truth. The real truth of the matter is that we're all travelers. Look at us. Travelers. All of us are travelers. In this beautiful airport, all in the same boat. Literally, we're all in the same boat. And we're all trying to get to our destination safely. On the way, we might have some nice things, might have some cool stuff. Some things might distract us. There's going to be distractions to remind us or cause us to forget about our final destination. And what's that? Do you think it's Jannah? Maybe. Or maybe it's the fact that we're going to meet Allah. Because I don't know if Jannah is in my destiny. I don't know. I pray that it is. It could be the other place that's a little bit more warm. But the truth of the matter that the reality of this place it's, it's temporary. It's not real. All of this is an illusion. All of this. You see that Chanel? It's designed to make people feel. This is what causes social divides in people. Right here. Right here. See this purse over here? That costs so much money? This is what costs, causes so much social divide between people. This is what makes people feel more inferior, uh, superior to others. Right here. This. This right here. These brands, all these brands are designed to create and cause more social divide between people. To keep the low feeling low, keep the rich feeling rich. That's it. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm a part of the problem. I'm not any better. I have all the stuff that you'd ever want. I have all that stuff too. But all of these things are playing the role of helping us forget of the hair after hair of meeting Allah. This is it. Louis Vuitton, there we go. All designed to cause you to forget the reality here. After now, you might be like, SQ, you wallin. Are you becoming extremist? Like, what are you doing, SQ? No. I'm here to remind you as I remind myself of the ultimate truth, the ultimate haq, which is we have to meet Allah. It's as simple as that. We have to meet Allah. We have to return to whether you believe it or not. We have to meet Allah. And our soul is not designed to be over here. This is just the flesh. Buying things and shopping over here in these expensive stores, all this. This is all designed to make, make your soul and your spirit and your heart forget where it really belongs. Our hearts, our souls, our spirits really belong to Allah. They don't, why is it that you feel so nice? Feel so comfortable, feel so good? When the name of Allah is mentioned, when we talk about Allah, why is that? Well, one of the main reasons is because your soul is being fed. Your soul, your ruh, it's being fed. And it's not just being fed garbage. It's being fed spirituality. It's being fed what it really deserves. You see, when we focus on this, Louis Vuitton... Gucci and all and this is coming from what am I wearing right now think about this I'm not like I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone not at all what I'm trying to remind you over here that this is all designed to feed our flesh feeds the dunya keeps us invested over here keeps our roots even dig dug deeper in this dunya when we have all these nice things now, does that mean as we shouldn't have nice things no what I'm telling you is that you need to have, one, you have enough already. You don't need more. Number two, all of these things are distracting you from the truth, the haq, that we have to leave all this and return back to Allah. Why am I even traveling? You'll find out soon. I'm not going to tell you right now, but you're going to find out soon. 
Why am I traveling? It's an emergency. We had to travel. We were forced to travel because that's the reality. The reality of this dunya forced us to travel. And that reality is that we have to leave this place. But they don't want us to know this. They don't want us to remember this. They don't want us to think about this. They want us to be just mesmerized. Look how beautiful this looks. Mesmerized. Mesmerized. Oh. What a social status. Wow. You're sitting in that chair. They're serving you. Oh, you're buying whatever you want from the shelves. Wow. When you die, wallahi, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questions our soul, none of this is going to matter. In fact, all of these things are going to be what causes us to go more and further astray. And that's where we have to become smarter. And I promise you, I told you that the 99 names of Allah we're relating to this video. Well, that's the reason I picked this name, Al-Haq. Al-Haq, the Haq is, the truth is that we're going to leave this. And all this is causing us to love this dunya more than we should. The mother of believers was asked a question. The companions would ask the mother of believers questions because they understood the Messenger Salaam at a level that was un 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 unattainable to anyone on the regular eye. The companions asked the messenger, uh, the, uh, the, the mother of the believers, of, what was the biggest du'a? The, the, the du'a that the messenger saw, 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 used to ask for the most. The most. What, what, what was the du'a that he asked for the most? What was he longing for? And the number du'a was this. Get ready, right? He would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who is the owner of the hearts, to keep our hearts firm on the deen. That's what he would ask. That would be the number one du'a. So I'm asking you, can we apply that name? Yes. Can we start making that du'a? Yes. Can we all do these things? Absolutely. We can. We can apply that du'a. You know du'a. Tell me in the comments below. Type it. Let me pin it. So we all can start reciting it together. And think about this. The Messenger Salaam is protected. He's pure. Yet the most important thing he's asking Allah is protection for his heart. The turner of hearts, please keep my heart turned and firm on the deen. And that's what we're doing. We want to ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us firm on the deen. To not allow us to stray. To not allow us to forget the reality of the dunya that we are just travelers. We are just travelers. This airport is a reminder that we're all traveling. And believe it or not, we all have the same destination. And that destination is meeting Allah. We have an appointment with Allah. And a lot of us are unaware of it. We shouldn't be able to speak about these things because religion and politics, you don't talk about them. So the average person won't even know. But the truth of the matter is that we have to leave this place. We use it for what it's worth. And, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this place, your mal, your, your, your children, everything is zina. It's the zina of the dunya. What does that mean? Decorations. Sprinkles. That's all it is. That's what Zina is. You see all this garbage? This is just the sprinkles of the dunya and it just makes you love your cake even more. It doesn't really bring much value to the cake, much value to the dessert, but it makes it look really, really pretty and appealing. That's all this is. It's just the Zina. And we cannot forget that we are being tested over here. This is a giant social experiment. We're being tested over here and we have to return back to Allah. Hopefully with our Iman. That is the number one thing that the Messenger Salaam wants to be protected, his Iman. And if the Messenger of God is asking for his Iman to be protected, surely you and I can ask for our Imans protected as well too. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. And yeah, this is me quarantined in Heathrow Airport for 10 hours. So let's see where this goes. My mom's over here. Got the camera. We're ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'm going to read this book. I'm going to read some more over here. Then I head out. Hope you guys benefit from this video. Ramadan's coming soon. Let's prepare. Let's get closer to Allah. And let's remember the reality of this dunya, which is it's fake. We're going to have to leave it. So let's not get too, too attached. Just have the nice things. Have it. But don't fall in love with this place because it's not going to last. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.